What is this? Beware a predator is near. Cyrax, pre Let's leave it there though. <laughs> it's a warning for others. That's crazy. I don't, is it true? He's a legend. Why we want to go meet this guy? I don't know now. 14? He's literally a predator, bro. Like, why no. would we want to like- Is this a troll or is he really a predator? I don't know. Why, why was it in the ground? That's what made- I'm, 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 I'm good. It's, it's like- We threw him in everyone's yard. Let's go, let's go do well, shots. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm a big fan of Cyrex. I was just wondering if we could microwave for food. We're doing a documentary on uh, local artists in the area. They're not answering. <clears throat> Chat and, chat's listening to police scanners. We're good. But still, I don't feel totally comfortable. The <laughs> thing going on today around my house is good. That's why, because of all this shit going on, because we've had somebody rip down our fencing and the police not blaming us, now I'm getting fucking stalked by fucking weirdos. And if y'all don't know, look up Chicken Andy RV8 on YouTube. These goons were apparently outside my house, which they were. Like, fucking trespassing on my goddamn property. And I'm gonna say this right the fuck now. Unless I fucking know you. Unless I know you personally and you're a friend of mine and I've fucking... And I've video called you or I've talked to you on the phone enough to know who the fuck you are. Don't come rolling up to my fucking house in an RV with fucking six deep. Because chances are... One of two things is gonna happen. Either cops are gonna get called, or someone's getting their fucking ass handed to them by me and my family. Don't come rolling up to my fucking house like that. Like Hours, 13 minutes, 30 seconds. Akron Police and Fire, Tech 205. Uh, yes, I need a police officer at my house. What's the address? 339 Lloyd Street. I'm sorry, what is it? 339 Lloyd Street. Okay, what's your name? Sally Wilkins. And a phone number, please. 330-319-4064. Okay, and what are we coming out there for? Uh, people on the internet that have an issue with my son, they, they, they got a uh, motorhome out here full of guys that's supposed to try to grab him. Okay, so you're telling me that there's a motorhome full of people out there? Yeah, like four, four guys. Like, like they are currently out in front of your house? Yes. And have they gotten out, and do you know that they're there for your son? They're just now getting out. No one's um, gotten out? They just got out, yeah. Okay, are they coming to your house? I'm not sure. I don't know what they're doing, but the ones that got out got back in. Right, thank you, ma'am. Never mind. What's that? They, they they took off. I don't know. I don't know what their deal is, but. Okay, is your son currently on the internet talking to them now? No. No. Okay. You weren't on the internet. You weren't on the internet talking to Maury again. No. 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 Okay, thank you. Do you want me to cancel this call? Yeah, cancel the call. All they right. Show back up. They show back up. Knock on my door. I'll be calling. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye. June twelfth, two thousand twenty-three. Twenty-two hours. 43 minutes, 8 seconds. Akron Police and Fire Crew Ball. Yes, ma'am. This is Sally Wilkins again at 339 Lloyd Street. Okay. These, these guys have parked way down the street, and they're on our property. And they're knocking on my door. You said 339 Lake? Lloyd Street. Lloyd? Yes. 
Were we already out there? They they came back. They were here earlier in, in the motor, motor home. Okay. <clears throat> Are they in a motor home now? They have the motor home, but they parked it down the street and they walked up here. There's you like four that? of them. No. Males or females, they, white or black, can you tell? Um, they're males. I don't know if they're white or black. Oh, my son says white. Where are they at now? They're out in my yard or on my property somewhere. Okay. But What's your name? Sally Wilkins. Were they knocking, did you say? Yes. And you guys don't know these people? No. Okay. All right, we'll get somebody out there. You said 339 Lloyd Street? Yes. Okay, we'll get somebody out there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, I don't know y'all, so don't roll onto my house. Like, if it's, it's one thing if you're on my friends list and I talk to you. Like, if you're on my friends list and I talk to you, that's fine. I have no issue with that. Like, if I know you and you're on my friends list and you pop over and, or you pop on and hit me up with a message saying, hey, you know, I want to drop by and say what's up, that's fine. If I know you and you're on my friends list, you're cool. Like, if you want to pop over and surprise me and say what's up, that's fine. But if I don't fucking know you, don't show up to my fucking house. And you sure as fuck don't go snooping around my goddamn property. Because that right there can get your ass arrested for goddamn trespassing, dude. Oh, as for the flyers, I know who the fuck did it. And trust me when I say when I find that flyer, I am going to be throwing it away. I will be trashing it. And any sign that I see, I will be trashing. Because that is slander. And it's not fucking true what's on those flyers. Trust me, I saw the live stream. I read the fucking flyer. That shit ain't fucking true at all. Y'all are just trying to fucking get me to come outside for views and content. If you can meet me out back, my problem is out back. Just save it. No, you don't need to come out here. I woke up to. Well, we've been having problems here. Some people that have problems with my son. The internet scam on Craigslist. They've been doing this for about a month now. They've been trying to take everything away. This morning they came to try to take the fence. Who's that? A couple of guys was responding to Craigslist. Okay. My uh, my landlord says I had to I needed to report it. So I guess for her insurance purposes, but they've been. Trying to take my car. They've had four different people come out here and try to take Why my car. Why don't you call the police when they're here taking the fence? Because they took off. Why don't you call the police when they came here and take the fence? I was asleep. So how do you know it's too good? I was asleep. I got it. went to the bathroom. I heard some noise. I went and looked out my kitchen window. And I told them to put, put the stuff back down. And they left. So, <laughs> your, 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 your son has big issues on the internet. Yes. So, did he tell the people to come here to take fence? No, it's somebody no, from... What it is, is these people have an issue with me, and uh, in order to attack me, they're sending people here to do this stuff. What did they, they, what did they say anything to you? No. Oh. You, you didn't ask them why they're taking the fence? Well, I knew why. Because okay, these people are doing this... <laughs> You wouldn't believe how many things that come up missing. Well, it's because this chance causes a lot of issues on the internet. Yeah, no, I understand that. Yes, you do. Hey, mouse!
I don't cause these issues. They do this to us. We've been here 113 times. I've seen your YouTube videos, yeah, man. You don't know shit, dude. And I've seen your videos. Chance! Go on, go upstairs. You guys are a fucking joke. You don't know what the hell I go through, man. You don't see the shit that I do so. with Go upstairs! No, I'm tired of people thinking I'm a fucking joke. You clearly don't see what these people do to me. Okay. I'm gonna go to the port. I'm gonna wait in the cruiser up for the landlord, right? Okay. Y'all need to start fucking doing something, man. I'm the owner. Okay. What can I help you with? Um, there's been fencing and that stolen? Uh, it wasn't stolen, it was taken down. More than likely, uh, Chance had something to do with it. Because it was online stuff. Because they're, they're claiming, uh, he's... What is even going on? I only know half of the story. I don't know all the story. I don't know what's going on. I only hear hits and pieces. All I know is I'm, my stuff is becoming missing now. We've They're been, stealing my stuff. We've been here 113 times since we got this new system. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he's he, he has mental issues and, not, and whatnot, and he, he, he causes a, a bunch of issues online because we get calls from people out of state saying that he's threatening to kill people, suicide, whatnot. So that's why we're constantly out here. Uh, you know, is there something we can do? Uh, victim. Because like if you look at the screen here, um, harassment, meet a party, welfare check, all these welfare checks are because of him. Um, well, she's see. a super good runner. I don't want her to go, but no, I, I, I don't know what can be done without Chance. What can be done? No, really nothing because that's his mom and his mom's taking care of him. But see all these issues, this is all because of Chance. Assault? Is that to his mom? No. He's hit her before. But she won't do nothing about it. She won't she won't so, do nothing. Right, so there's um some somebody assaulted chance. But we they he constantly calls in for suspicious vehicles here, whatnot. Um So like th this is all because of chance. He had moved to where he currently resides in Akron, Ohio. At less than five feet tall and still living with his grandmother at 31, Chance is one of the most prolific and haunting log cows online. I do not intend on making any videos on these internet cool guys, but this story just has to be heard. The troubling and honestly downright disturbing trials and tribulations of this man are truly abominable. From manipulation to completely police. utter delusion, this is the story of Cyrax. I can honestly start this video telling stories of any point of his YouTube saga that spans over 15 years, and you would most likely find it just as disturbing as it is concerning. Before 2017, there are only a select handful of videos that are actually archived, and all relate to him being some kind of rapper. This is a guy talking about Chance. About being signed uh, chance he was at one point allegedly signed with someone, and then over the span of a few months, he not only uh, stolen YouTube all of their music, is, uh, but the names of the musicians, and completely Cyrus. plagiarizing Who? other artists. Chance? He actually chance. considered to be family. Eric Scrubbolo was one of these people, and he offered to let Chance sign to his record label yeah, around so he, 2012. He goes on the internet, he makes he videos sorry for Chance, uh, to drum up attention and he, he's had videos well and then he also goes into like live streaming where he's recording things live and people can see it and essentially like he'll he'll just go on these rants and raves because we get calls all the time from people out of state saying that chances are gonna go shoot someplace up go kill somebody he wants to kill himself like and it's just garnering attention he has mental health issues so um, Let's see, uh, I'm not sure how, how, how familiar you are using YouTube or whatnot. I'm not. Okay, well, you can go on YouTube, okay. and you can just search Cyrax, C-Y-R-A-X-X, -X, Akron, and all these videos are on him. What the heck is that? What is... And, and a lot of these videos are people talking about Cyrax and all, this, all the videos that he's posted. YouTube's taken down a lot. But, but these are the ones that are just archived, so you can do Cyrax uh, with two X's, Akron. This is a non verified 37 587 Dorchester Road, District 8, time now 1247. 
And all, all this footage of Chance, that's from his videos. So there's nothing we can do about this? Nothing, nothing we can do? Other than the victim, because his mom, she is taking care of him. So he has uh, a caretaker. Well, uh, I can't evict him. How can I evict him without evicting the whole family? No, you can evict individual people. But um, another route I suggest maybe going is please uh, anything. Uh, adult protective services. But the only issue is that she's taking care of him. But if but she won't do anything. I've asked her to cut. I've asked her to cut off the internet, mm -hmm. and she won't. I've asked her why. She she enables she, it. She well yeah she said um she said why should I why should I have to suffer? Mm -hmm. And I'm like. What part of the problem don't you understand? Right. Yeah. And she got huffy with me, and I'm like, whoa, okay, forget it. You know? And I'm, yeah. And so I'm trying to figure out how we can solve this without kicking her out. No, I understand. And you, you can have him evicted. Um, well, that ain't going to cut, because he ain't got nowhere to go. Right. So that's why we may, maybe call Adult Protective Services. So, and just to give you an idea. If I would call that, would it be, would I have to give my name and everything? You can remain anonymous. Um, and what would that do? Well, the, if, if there's enough, so what? Here, here's what I want you to do. The, we have this new system. We got this new system back in 2019. So we've had 113 calls just on this new system um, since November of 2019. <laughs> we've been coming here well before this new system. Um, my advice would be to go down to the station. You don't need the printouts of the every the notes of every single call but try and get a list of every single time you've came out well we've came out here since um, chance and his mother lived here all those calls um, and, and they can all and it's, it, it, you can get them listed like this where it's just all in rows get that I would call adult protective services let them know what's going on um, tell them about how many times we've we been out here since this new system? You said how many? A hundred and what? Hundred thirteen times with this new system, but we've been coming out here before that. Um, so get a total number of calls of how many times we have come out here because of chance, um, and I would give them this website. Tell them YouTube. Look up Cyrax. C Y R A X X. Um, Can you write that down? Yeah, for me? let me write that down for you. Thank you. Um, Cyrax. I am just really beside myself. Yeah. But today I've been very, very depressed. And for good reason. My family is at risk of being evicted from our home because of the trolls. This morning, Music Biz Marty sent someone to our house to rip down our fence. And our landlady, her, their, her insurance company, her and the police both said that either our internet gets turned off or we get evicted. And I need everyone's help. Because my family wants to fight this really bad. We want to get a lawyer, but around here in Ohio, it's almost impossible. My family needs an out-of-state lawyer that will take on our case and help to fight this sh And my mom's been downstairs in tears on and off all morning. I've been trying to figure out a way that I can raise over a hundred dollars to try to get a lawyer for my family so that we can finally fight these guys trolls and put a stop to this because these trolls like Music Biz Marty and CBG have put my family in a very very dangerous situation where we will probably be evicted if something is not done. 
And this house is all I've ever known for the last 10 years. For the last 10 to 11 years, this has been my home. This has been my family's home. This is where I first started my music. This is where I started my very first YouTube channel. This house has been a part of my life for the last 11 years. And it's been a part of my family's life. This is our home. And we're at risk because of the f***ing trolls doing what they're f***ing doing. These people have damaged our house, stolen stuff from us. And the police and the FBI are refusing to do a damn thing of f***ing about it. This morning, when we called the police department to make a report, that officer basically made it sound like I start a lot of the shit that goes on. But even you guys know that a lot of the shit that goes on, I don't start it. I try to get away from it. So I'm asking, not for myself, but on behalf of my family. I need you guys to help try to get a lawyer or somehow really get some sort of money to fight this shit. So if these people can be put behind bars where they belong and my family can be safe. I know a lot of people out there think that I have all this money, but the truth is I don't. I don't have the money that I deserve. I don't have the money that I've worked my f***ing ass off for for the last seven years. And it's because of Marty, William Gloryhole, and CBG that I don't have that f***ing money. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm because of Marty and them, I'm losing out on over $10 million in ad revenue within a few years. Within a year, I'm losing over $2 million in ad revenue. Because these people want to ruin my life. These people want to antagonize me. They want to see me get mad. Well, you know what? Now I have a reason to get mad. Because my family is at risk. My family is at risk of losing their home. I'm at risk of losing everything I've worked so hard for. I need your guys' help to either raise money or to help me find a lawyer that would be willing to take on my case and help us fight this shit. I can't bear to see my family homeless. I want to fight this so bad but I don't have the money to and neither does my family. Every month, we just barely scrape by on rent. We maybe have a few hundred dollars to our name after rent, and all that money goes towards groceries. So that we can eat, so that we can live. And I'm tired of my family living like this. I want better for myself and for my family.
That's it. Let it all out. Let it all out, Cyrax. I want to know why you did this to me. Because you're a child predator. He is not a predator. Okay, well, sell that to the evidence. That do speaks. You, do you have uh, anything? Actually, this is public. Yeah, this is public. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just public. Sir, 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 will you, you need to keep him away from me. You're going to go to jail too, Ed? You're going to go to jail too? This is public. This is public. Not right here, Uh This is a public sidewalk. Back up before you catch a charge too. When you scream for help. All the time, I just go for there. Help. Right, sure. Go there. Yeah. I'm sorry that this happened. This is a trial one for when they arrest you for being a pedophile. You know, I'm gonna be fucking honest here, man. I'm tired of everybody sitting here saying like, "Oh, you need a manager." Let me tell you something. I don't need a fucking manager. I don't need counseling. I don't need anger management. What I need is for motherfuckers to leave me the hell alone and let me do my shit without being attacked. That's what I fucking need. Maybe if you dumb fuck trolls would leave me the hell alone, you might actually see what the fuck I'm actually capable of. Like, this shit's fucking stupid, dude. You know, all you guys do is sit on the internet and fuck with people. That's all you do. Sit on your asses and fuck with people. Like, what is this? Fucking kindergarten? Please, grow the fuck up. Like, what's funny to me is how you guys always sit there and say, Oh, you need a manager. You need to do this. You need to do that. No, I don't need to do this or that. What I need to do is my job as a content creator and create my shit. It's because of you fucking trolls that I'm going to fucking court on Monday. Not because of me. Because of you guys. Because all you guys want to do is fuck people's lives up like it's some sort of joke. And it's not funny, dude. It's fucking stupid. That dude had no business fucking being here doing what he was doing to me and my family. I'll say that right now. That fucking dumbass with his fucking head wrapped up had no business fucking being here harassing my family. Well, it's one thing to protest something, but when you're doing it to slander somebody's name, no. You don't have business doing that. And that's exactly what he was doing, was slandering my name. And defaming me. But all this bullshit and this trolling shit, it needs to fucking stop. You guys are seriously putting lives in fucking danger. The other day when y'all showed up here to fuck with me and my family, you put my life and my family's lives in fucking jeopardy. And I did what I had to do to protect my family. And I hold no regrets. I did what I had to do to protect my family. Because there were six people in total. You had him and then five of my other neighbors walking down the street, getting in my face and my family's faces. I had every right to do what I fucking did. When you put my life in danger, I don't give a fuck if I'm in public or on property. I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect my fucking family. Because my family is all I've got, really. Outside of my close friends and those that I fucking grew up with and those that I'm stupidly close with, my family is all i got. I ain't got nothing else. So y'all trolls need to stop putting people's lives in fucking danger. Because by y'all doing shit like this, eventually someone's going to get fucking hurt. Or worse, someone's going to end up dead. And guess whose hands that blood is going to be on? 
yours. Because all you guys want to do is sit there and attack and harass and bully. And it's fucking stupid. I mean, what are we in? Fucking grade school? Kindergarten? High school? I mean, dude, last time I checked, I'm 32 fucking years old. I don't need this shit. I should be making money right now doing my shit. But instead, I'd sit here and worry about a bunch of fucking dumbasses on the goddamn internet fucking with me and my family and I'm fucking tired of it. And everybody's like, oh, if you don't like to get off the internet. No, that's not the fucking answer. Getting off the internet ain't the answer. The answer is you dumb fucking trolls backing off. That's the answer. The answer is YouTube getting off their fucking asses and doing something about you guys. That's the answer. The answer is the cops getting off is the cops getting off their asses and doing something about it. That's the answer. Me getting off the internet, that's not the answer. That's never been the answer and it never will be the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and again. But let me tell you, man. I have just as much right to be on the internet as anyone else. I have just as much right. It's a God-given right. It is literally a God-given right. I have just as much right to be on the internet as anyone else. All this bullshit that you guys run around and make up, that's all it is. Is bullshit. And you guys need to knock it off. Like for real. You guys need to grow the fuck up and fuck off. Like I said, I'm not out here hurting nobody. I'm not out here going out of my way to hurt someone. That's what you guys are doing, man. You guys are going out of your way to fuck with people, not me. I'm not here minding my own goddamn business. I'm not here creating content that you guys wish you could fucking make. All this shit of... Because I won't do what you want, you guys are going to go and attack my friends and my family and make my life a living hell? Man, fuck you. You know, you guys don't know what the fuck I've been through. You guys only act like you know, but you really don't fucking know. Because trust me, if you knew half of what the fuck I've been through, y'all wouldn't be doing this shit. Y'all wouldn't even be doing half the shit y'all do to me if y'all really knew what the fuck I've actually fucking been through. You want to know what I suffer from because of you guys? I suffer, I suffer from PTSD. I now suffer from panic attacks. I now suffer from depression. I now have fucking nightmares all the fucking time because of you guys. Because of you dumb fuck trolls, I'm not the same dude that I used to be. As much as I would love to be that person, I'm not the same. Y'all fucking people running around doing this shit, you need to fucking stop. It's stupid. So if I were you, I'd do yourselves a favor and I'd fuck off. Because like I said, eventually, you guys are going to get someone hurt or possibly killed. And when that does happen, the blood will be on your guys' hands. So stop the bullshit before someone seriously gets fucking hurt. And look me in my eyes Just like a monkey I've been dancing